Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Helen and today I have a Sainsbury's grocery delivery. Um, so today it's about £100 if everything comes. Um, it'll be literally just under £100. Um, it was going to be a smaller shop this week because I did quite a large shop last week and I'd picked up a few bits from Costco and, and the like so I felt like I didn't need a lot but then I found some really good deals so I've been going through the nectar prices um some of them I wonder if it's the same with the Tesco ones as well that they've put the prices up to make it look like there's massive reductions in the prices but then some of the things I knew what the prices were before and and they're pretty good deals so I just wanted to top up on some food bits I wanted to top up on some toiletries um I just found some really nice bits on there so um yeah I'm gonna show you what we've got and I've got a meal plan as well for afterwards so I'm going to show you what we've got now here is our Sainsbury's shop. Sorry, I've got some washing and stuff on the chairs, you have to excuse that. <laughs> right, so for frozen stuff this week, I've got their extra crispy crinkle cut chips. I don't think I've had the crinkle cut version of the extra crispies, but the extra crispy Sainsbury's chips are delicious, so I'm looking forward to trying those. Um, these were substituted, I can't remember what I ordered, uh, but we've ended up with these. I ordered some beef burgers, these were on offer, so I was going to get these and just put them up for next week, but I've changed my meal plan, we're having these tomorrow. Picked up some chicken burgers, um, we got some chicken breast fillets, some 5% beef mints, got some refrigerators, so there's three mini packs in there, and then this was on an offer as well, Nectar, Nectar Prices, oh, I can never remember what it's called. Uh, that's a jerk chicken Jamaican patty, so I thought I'd see if my boy likes that. This was different. Uh, this is new, so I thought he could try that as well because he loves a pie chip shop chicken curry. Got some ham. Uh, I got some of the couscous because that was on offer and he does like that. Then we got some scotch eggs. That's just some snacky bits for the kids' lunches. Um, so that helps. And then I got the innocent smoothies. So... If you look back to my shop from two weeks ago, the Waitrose shop, I bought 20 in total, so 20 pouches of smoothies. I run a really good deal and I was wondering how long they were going to last. We have one left, <laughs> one left, but we've had four or five people drinking them. So I don't think two weeks is too bad, but I think I will just go back to the uh, one packet, one small packet a week, like this four pack rather than the 10 pack. I uh, got some milk, then we got some of the ski mousses, these were on offer as well, so I got one packet of lemon, one packet of strawberry, and then I got two more of these Outpro high protein yogurts, um, she actually really liked those, she said they were really good and she'd gone off yogurts, so I got those for her, we got two of the rice milk, broccoli, eggs, so I ordered a 12 pack of eggs which cost £2.45, they were substituted for one six pack which also cost £2.45. Um, I got taste of different strawberries this week, so the strawberries we got last week my daughter said were actually disgusting, they tasted terrible um, and we'd had such nice strawberries from Waitrose so I thought if I ordered the taste of different ones we'll just see if they're any better and they do look really red and fresh so hopefully they'll be good uh, we've got raspberries orange peppers um, one of my daughters particularly likes the orange ones and she'll just literally she'll eat that like an apple so you know <laughs> uh, iceberg lettuce got some of the imperfectly tasty green beans some lamb's lettuce we've got some king edward potatoes I'm not sure why I actually order potatoes. I don't think we've got potatoes on the menu this week. Um, but then sometimes I just like to have them around. We can always use them for lunches and stuff. Mango slices. Um, some of the honey shreddies. These are just amazing. A bit expensive for my liking, but they are really, really good. Then I've got some pile of rice. Four of the fruit pouches. We've got some... Long grain rice, there's two of those packets and two of the basmati. Some Granny Smith apples. I've got a mug shot, also another um, lunch idea for my boy because I think he'll like those. And then these are gluten free uh, and milk free. So we've had the apple 
what they called apple crumble slice thingies um so i thought we'd try these ones because i've got one gluten-free child and one dairy-free child then we run out of something of crisps and they're ones in particular my youngest likes they were on a good nectar deal as well uh tortilla chips we got some sliced carrots in water i always like to have things like that in my store cupboard carrots and peas in tins always then this i thought sounded different sticky toffee rice pudding i got some of the sweetie drop peppers they're amazing particularly with pasta dishes then this was also a substitution uh but it was seeded bread for seeded bread so it's fine uh two packets of the naan breads because we're going to have a curry this week some more of these crusty rolls they are delicious then I've got some of the gluten-free scotch pancakes. They are also milk-free. Um, these I've never seen before. Kit Kat caramels. They were on next prices. Garlic and herb croutons. Another snack. And then we got some uh, householdy bits. So I got some of this cream. I love this cream. It feels so nice. Um, I put this on before I go to bed. After I've washed my face. Um, decided to get this for my boy he's nearly 18 years old um, and I just thought he could do with some moisturiser and then I also picked this up for him I think there was some sort of offer I think those two were a certain price or something um, Huggies wipes and then I got some of the power foam this is citrus blast a few weeks ago I bought whatever the regular one is called um, we're also going to have a Tesco haul because my daughter who's gluten free wants to go and get bits from Tesco's. Um, we find that Sainsbury's don't do a great selection of free from food and a lot of their free from food do have nuts in which we are a nut free household. So we like Tesco and Asda for free from food which is hilarious because we don't shop in Tesco or Asda because I find them to be more expensive than Sainsbury's. Um, so yeah we tend to go there every now and again and get some bits. So I will add our Tesco haul onto this afterwards so you can have a look to see what we picked up there. But this is everything for now. I sent a few substitutions back so this came to about... 96 97 pounds so this is amelia and i's tesco haul um she wants to show you her own bits um so basically we've got about half a table each i think it's i only went for a couple of bits but i ended up picking up loads so she's going to show you what she got in a minute so over here um i've got some jam donuts did want some cookies but i didn't have any got some of these crusty white baguettes these are amazing i had these when i was staying at my sister's uh, just fantastic some pomegranate seeds just really fancied those i picked up some carrots because our sainsbury's carrots that came today were absolutely disgusting they were like leaking everywhere and had loads of i don't know they were just gross weren't they like yeah. black stuff all over them it wasn't black it was brown Ugh, so i had to get some fresh ones so we got one of the stir fry deal thingies so the meal deal so I've got rice noodles, vegetable stir fry mix and some teriyaki sauce which Amelia is actually going to have. Um, got some saurine apple loaves. We haven't had these for ages. I keep forgetting about those. These I have not seen before and I thought it would be really handy just to have in the cupboard. So tomato and basil pasta. It's a microwave pouch like microwave rice. So if the kids really need something to eat and there's nothing done or I'm not here they can do that themselves and they could always add, I don't know, bacon or ham or something into it. I wanted to have a look for different snacks and I found these. I've never seen these before. These were on an offer, I think they were two for three pounds. Uh, so they're just little bites uh, with fruit in. So I've got two different ones of those. Got some of the Truvia because that was on a really good club card deal that was just under half price. And I've got some apple and sultana bars some Alpro caramel I picked up this Noki because this is a shelf stable one it doesn't have to go in the fridge so um, I picked that up because that lasts until next year this I keep seeing these and I've always thought now it's quite an expensive way to um, have chicken stock 
however i did think on the days where i'm really really struggling that actually having one less step to do this would be really really helpful if i didn't have to make a stock I can literally just pour it in I do have some chicken stock homemade in the freezer, but I'm not always organised enough to get it out on a bad day to use. Um, got some sliced brioche burger buns. That is eight, so I'm going to have to put some of those in the freezer, but they look really good. And then I've got some of the fire pit smoky onion relish, which is lovely. Then I've got some of these dairy-free suckies, peach and apricot, and a strawberry. I've not had those before, so not those ones anyway i think we've had similar ones then i've got two of the outpro high protein mango so i've got two of the strawberry ones earlier but i think she'll like the mango ones so anyway i'm just going to pass over to amelia she'll show you what she's got all right so i got this is my favorite gluten-free bread ever so i pretty much get this anytime i get any bread and then i also got some wraps which i don't tend to get as much but we are having enchiladas this week so i will get them i do prefer these over any other ones i've tried because they don't tend to fall apart as much i got some tofu i'm not vegetarian but sometimes having chicken and turkey all the time gets a little bit boring so i have got some tofu to have this week and then i've got these which i haven't tried before but they're they kind of remind me of knickknacks by looking at them, but they're gluten free. And then we just got some rice noodles, some tomato and herb sauce, which I'm going to use for pasta bakes rather than the ones I've been using before because this one is dairy free. I've got some brown flakes for brown flake cakes. And then I've got some goat's milk yogurt, which I'm going to try just because I'm trying to have less dairy, but. I've heard a lot of people deal better with goat's milk rather than cow's milk. And then I got patatas bravas, which I love. And then I got some tikka butternut slices, which I haven't actually tried before. But they were on the three for two, and so were the mini carrots. So I picked them up as well. And then I got some red onions, which is something that I always get in my shops. And then some cauliflower and a savoy cabbage. I got these fruit stars which were on club card price that was nice i got garlic apples and then a cucumber some lemons so i'm really enjoying having lemon water in the morning and some bananas as well as this um barbecue sauce mix which is gluten free which is hard to find with a lot of the pre-made mixes so yeah that is my bit of the shop. I will put the total of what we spent in Tesco's up on the screen for you now. Here's our meal plan for the week. So today's Monday and that SC stands for slow cooker. So if you ever see that on my um, meal plans, you know what that means. So I've made a honey soy chicken slow cooker um, pack kind of thing so we will heat that up and they'll have rice or noodles not everyone likes noodles um, but they have a lot of rice so i'm kind of hoping they'll have noodles instead uh tomorrow i'm going to do burgers chips and salad uh probably stick some hash browns in there as well because we've got hash browns in the freezer uh so that might be quite nice and then wednesday i still haven't made these enchiladas like oh, i don't know i just i don't enjoy making them it's something i actually hate making and the kids do like them though so i've got this enchilada kit that needs using so we'll do that i can have some salad um and we've got tortilla chips need using already thursday i'm gonna do a spaghetti bolognese and we'll have that with salad i might go and get some garlic bread because i've got to go to the shops anyway so maybe we'll have garlic bread potentially with that and then i'll make two um versions of the spaghetti bolognese i'll make a tomato based one and then an omato one and same thing on friday so i'm going to do chicken curry so i'm going to make a tomato based curry and then i don't know if i'll make a no mato one or whether i'll just do it with stock and stuff not sure anyway so that'll be some sort of chicken curry with rice and naan so that is our plan for the week 
thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate all your likes and your comments um, and all of your support. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd absolutely love to have you and you'll be notified of more videos coming up. So um, if you like this video, give it a like and I'll see you soon.